Hi, this is Frank, and welcome to Module 7, Mixing Plot of our Customizing PG Star for your MESA Models tutorial. So you've got three plots up, a Kippenhahn, an Abundance, and a Triple Panel Profile, and now we're going to add a mixing plot to the diagnosis of our convectively bounded carbon burning flame. So let's get to it. So one way to quench the flame uh, is to deplete the precursor fuel of composition mixing beyond the convective boundaries. So let's add a mixing profile with mass on the x-axis. So our task is to cut and paste these PG star commands either from uh, the PDF or the plot underscore commands provided in the folder that you downloaded. And we're going this one we're going to fill in the blank keywords. And again to remind you, um, PG star defaults is your friend on looking at those values. So let's go to it. Okay, this is where we left off with our profile panels. So let's go to the plot commands file. And we're going to take this mixing profile. And we're going to copy that. And we're going to go back to PG star. And now we want to add our mixing. Oh, I did want to point out one fun thing. Take a look at this Kippenhahn diagram. Um, this carbon flame is pulsed twice. It lit. It actually started to propagate outward. That's the upward turn of this. Uh, it lit again uh, for this rotation rate at a slightly lower mass. The flame propagated in, and then the flame stopped. The convection stopped. The flame actually dies right there. And then it reignites in a third pulse uh, and is continuing its march inward. Just thought I'd raise that. Okay, mixing. Uh, by this point, I like 10 uh, for that. Aspect ratios of about 0.75 are fine. I don't want any titles. You'll see why when we get to the grid plot. Uh, mixing name, we wanted mass on this axis. So the keyword is mass in parentheses. I don't want that axis reversed, so false. Uh, the min will go from zero, the max, uh, let's take it out to about one solar mass or so. Uh, the y-axis min, um, we will let that one float, I think. We'll top it off, let's see what it does. Um, I just want to be zero. And file output we'll just leave as it is. And let's see what we get. So this is our now fourth plot. And we've got the diffusion coefficient on the y axis, mass uh, on the x axis. And then over here, you'll see a variety of the different type of mixing mechanisms from uh, semi-convection to overshooting, um, uh, various diffusion coefficients associated with the self-generated magnetic fields from cellular model of angular momentum transport, uh, normal convection, uh, viscosity, and you can read the colors off there. And that's pretty close to, I think, what was desired. Let's go back to our guidance. So we did that. Check. Um, this is pretty close. We went out to one mass in this one. We went out to 1.5. So now we've got our, our fourth plot up, our mixing plot. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next module.